How's it guys? Um, I've been away for, well, look, you know, I've been here, yeah, I've been busy. Um, just not been doing any videos for a week. Um, excuse the noise that's going on in the background. Guys are busy in the shop. I can't stop that. It's, um, it puts food on the table. So today we are unboxing speaker wire. Some normal speaker wire that we use for installs. I wanted to show you guys what the speaker wire is like, what the packaging is like. Very interesting stuff. No guys, just joking. <laughs> what the box speaker wire? Points I'm trying to make is why I don't post videos every week is just there isn't something to um, show you guys every week. So when I post stuff, it's always going to be relevant stuff. Um, so what I have today came in uh, this morning is the new Blue Sound Power Node, the third generation one. So I see this is not a new uh, Node 2 I and then it's just called a Node. Um, so we are calling it a Node 3, um, not that that is its, its um, physical name, it's just what we are calling it, <laughs> we'll just call it the latest generation. So I'm interested to see what this is like, because I didn't have any complaints on the, on the previous one. Um, I don't know where they're going to be bettering on this. So very interesting to see. I must admit that the power node of this is my favorite item of this year. And even you know, I have to take last year as well. It's just the best piece of kit for the entire year and what I've had in a very long time. Um, but on that one, the previous one, I could feel that it, it did need a bit of power. So this, this one addressed all of that. On this one, we'll see where this bit is. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, while I'm going to cut this uh, tomorrow, guys, I have something very interesting coming in might be one of my best videos yet stay posted for that all i can say is it is ultra high end and there is three of them i'm going to i'm not going to be going to get up what is better at that price they're all good i'm going to tell you what the different one different i'm going to say what it is what the difference what the di what difference they bring to the table let's let's put it that way okay so let's get into this packaging on these things is always very nice very apple-esque as i always say but a very premium feel to the entire package this on the previous one for me was the best streamer at the price by far on top same you have your quick setup then you have your they normally give you everything in the box yeah, nothing has changed. Everything, even stuff you won't need. Got your Ethernet, you've got your RCAs, um, power. Aside from the power and the Ethernet, I won't use the supplied RCAs. If you're going to be streaming and you're doing high res stuff, get yourself a decent set of RCAs. You don't need to break the bank, but no, not something like this. Get yourself a decent set. But that's just in there to tick the box and that they actually do give you everything you need. Yeah, normally there's not much to these. You have your always package nice and this little felted bag so it doesn't scratch. And why I waited so long for this one, it is in my favorite color. And it's not a very easy color to get in South Africa. White. Oh, I love white. For me, all things should be in white. And it's this matte white. Even in the kitchens that we do now, matte colors, matte white is becoming very, very popular. Let me bring this a bit closer. Where's a good? Let's see if it's going to focus. There you go. So it's got the same three buttons, uh, or there's more than three buttons. The buttons on top. I'll do a little review video as well. This is just the unboxing. And I never peel off my stickers. I love it there. The same, you've got your um, headphone, headphone port in front, your rubber anti-slip at the bottom, um, venting, so for cooling, at the back of the unit, you have your, your RCA audio, your in, you have a subwoofer out, you have a coax out, you have an optical out, then there's an optical analog in, trigger, if you want to trigger 
um, power amplifiers and there's an IR in USB LAN um, Ethernet and HDMI eOC you're going to be connecting this to a TV very sleek little units um, I honestly feel this is this is the way the future is going for audio I haven't touched my CDs for years um, the streaming is just so good and with MQA and as you guys know by now unless you've been living under a rock blue sound decodes MQA many people say it doesn't make a difference I believe it does although it is small there is a difference so this um, everybody's jumping on the MQA bandwagon now so you can't tell me it doesn't make a difference because if it didn't make a difference why will all the people be jumping on it blue sound started it um, Gretelli's doing it now um, everyone um, I believe even Roxanne is coming out with something everyone is jumping on the MQA bandwagon so um, there must be something in it I've loved it from the start it just for me it just sounds a bit more it's, it's not insanely noticeable but there's a bit more detail and a bit more airiness to the sound um, I like it but different stroke for different folks you guys don't like it you don't need to use it this also decodes um, your normal flak files and all that but I mean it's capable of doing the rest okay so that was just a quick unboxing I'm gonna do this in one video so the next one you see I'm gonna set this up now run it for a while uh, no real running on these it's not a power amplifier it's not a speaker I'm gonna connect it I'm gonna run it on the peach and then hear what it sounds like guys see you in the review video of this good morning guys how's it okay early morning having my coffee um, some royalty free music on the background let me just put that a bit softer so um, this is going to be the review of the blue sound node the new 2021 models or as we like to call them i'll call them the node 3. if you watch the unboxing of this node um i said that i do not know how this is going to top the previous one um because the power node has amplification built into it and it's all in one unit you can understand there being a, a difference but with the the node not having any power built into it um, you know how much difference can a small alteration to a DAC make it's it's immense it's immense um, I don't know what blue sound is cooking up in their labs, but there's some some voodoo and magic sprinkled in there because they must be the company at the moment jumping the biggest leaps and bounds from one product to the next product. Um, it's it's really it's amazing. Um, I can't even put this up and let you guys listen to it. And tell me if you hear a difference because it's not going to come across you're going to have to sort of take my word for it but I'm going to try and explain what it does differently to the previous generation of of blue sounds as you can see I am running it um, from the node to the peach tree Nova 300 and before with the previous node I ran it the same way um, let me tell you what I'm doing it's nothing it's nothing insanely high-end and expensive well it's not cheap but it's not insane high-end so um, the Novas are in insane bang for buck and to connect them I've only got a set of um, are they QED or wirewall I think they're QED interconnects but they're not massively expensive like a thousand five hundred rand interconnects going between them from there running um i don't even have fancy speaker wire on here on the power node i have the wire wheels but they were too short for this applica application 
So I just ran some of my own, um, the link speaker wire that we used with some Lynx banana plugs, nothing major. Ran that to different speakers. At the moment they're playing on the Moni Monitor Audio Silvers. But I had them on, I tried them on everything because I wanted to properly test this unit. Um, so there you know what I'm running there. Uh, on the previous node, running to the, the Peach, it was good, but I always found it needing a little bit. Just, just I felt a little bit of need. So I ran my laptop using um, the USB to PC um, cable, plugged that into the, the Peach. <clears throat> Funny enough, the Peach picked it up straight away. It, it detected what I was doing, it was showing it on the laptop, and the remote integrated straight away, which was very cool. Um, it sounded better to me than the previous gen node. Then came along this one. So I wanted to connect it in the same fashion, but it doesn't allow for that. You got optic or you got analog out. So I had the analog interconnect. I connected them and I ran it that way. The detail. It's not just the detail. I don't know what they did. There is, there's more detail. There's more openness to the sound. Um, it's a different sound. That's the way I can explain it. it. You can't even say if you put the two next to each other that they, they sound similar. Only, only similarity is that it's a quality sound, but it sounds completely different. Um, more airiness to the sound. It's more alive. Um, the bass feels more taut. Um, everything is different. So you won't see it now, unless maybe you can see it. It's got the same interface as on, as on top of the power node. So it's exactly the same. It's just a bit smaller. Um, I dissed the interface on that one. I still don't use it to be honest. I know what they're for. I know how to use it. I know that the buttons are pre-select and you can set them up and, and, and. But I still don't use them. The only thing I would use is I would use the blue button to pause and to play. That's it. I might drag the volume, but I use my phone's app. So I can show you how this works. It is actually very cool. At the moment, I'm running royalty free on there. So you can select your, in my instance, I have the living room node, I have the power node, and I have the NAD778 that all run in this room. And it is all, the NAD also uses Blue OS, as you know, they're sister companies. So back there, um, let me just see if I can see, okay. So we go there. We can select all the music. Um, when you go back to the front, <laughs> cancel, go back. There you go. So now you can do your playlist, presets, tune in, Paradise Radio. You know what I am enjoying? The Radio Paradise. This is a very cool app and it's only on MQA. So you can do MQA uh, music streaming, like radio stations, or their CD quality. As you guys all know, radio stations normally, they, they suck. They don't have good quality at all. This has changed it for me. I'm listening to this 80% of the time. Let me just switch this up a bit. It's irritating me that I can't see myself. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that is basically it. Or are you going to select, I use title most of the time, you drag in your title, um, you do your playlist, you search, it's, you know, it's like an app, but as you see me going through this now, it is really a flawless integration. It's quick, it's responsive. I love the app, always have loved the app. Um, the blue sounds for me, they just that little step up from something like Yos or Sonos. It's a, it's a more premium type of stream, but okay, back to the notes, these two notes. So where are you going to impl implement them into your setup? The power node, 
that thing is so good. I'm I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Let me have some more coffee. It's early. The brain still needs to fire up. That for me is still the best unit. I would say in the last two years, but it's actually more. Um, but let's let's say twenty in twenty twenty one. 21 only when we could actually get it so let's say this year that nothing 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 beats that unit nothing um comments if you think something is better that came out this year than that power node nothing that i had um and i have access to basically anything um nothing that thing is immense i had no hope for the normal node i thought that is going to trump it for me it still does in only sense that you can have that stand alone look how small and discreet that is it can stand alone run everything hdmi arc as long as you're going to be doing stereo listening and not wanting multi points around where will you use the normal node if you already have an existing system that you don't want to change you'll use that which is going to be streaming and that's it um so that's why i'm running it on the peach do is there a difference running that compared to that yes depends on the speakers you're running is it huge nah it's not huge where you'll find the difference on the pre no I can't, I've, I've i've jammed that thing into volumes on four ohm loudspeakers and it drives it i don't i can't explain it to you guys i just can't explain it to you like i say a little bit of voodoo a little bit of magic that they're sprinkling in there that unit is very good but okay all my speakers came alive on this setup um the peach came alive the monitors came alive i had the bentleys on there they sound flipping epic um, where I did notice the bigger difference is on more demanding speakers. Uh, Monitor Audio, Bowen, Wilkins, um, they sounded very much different. Um, yeah, guys, so I, <laughs> I don't know what more to tell you about this unit. It is, go get one. Really go get one. I, I never want to sound like a salesman because I don't see myself as a salesman. Um, I just tell you the way it is. So if you want pop in, have a demo, visit your nearest place you can have a demo. And if you are always worried about buying things blind, for the price this thing is going for, you cannot go wrong. There is nothing that can stream the way this does at the price. So at the moment, as we speak now, the prices did come down, but this whole import shipping thing, COVID backlash, I don't know how long that's going to stay because most of the retailers have pushed their prices back up. Um, all the Morants and Denons, all the SVSs, um, the NAD units, PSB speakers, they're all going up. These are staying put at the moment. They've not changed. So 12990 is the retail on this unit. It's a steal. It's an absolute bargain it's the one thing you will never change on the power node 19990 so um, the extra expense is for the amplifiers so it depends what you want to do guys like i said you can't use one for both that doesn't have pre-outs they are clever they want to force you in one of the two directions because if they gave that pre-out they would be selling none of those so marketing but clever so guys, that's that's the review on on the blue sound, the new blue sound node, and also a recap on the power node. Um, if you like, please like, subscribe. Uh, the next video, watch my next video, guys. You saw I uploaded the SVS unboxing. Today we're getting the Validine DD12 unboxing. I'm going to be putting those next to each other, next to the MKX12. So we have ultra high end subwoofers. And I'm going to tell you which one I prefer, what sound I like out of all of them. Because like I said, there's no prefer and what is better here. Well, you can say prefer, but there's no better. So, I'm already fascinated with one of them a lot. So, this Validine coming today has huge, huge shoes to fill. Let's see. 
Um, okay, guys, till next time, please like, subscribe. Cheers. Bye.